We're taking a look at some of the hot stocks that have reported this week. Meta Platforms became the very latest of the Magnificent Seven to come out with its report. The company talked all about the year of efficiency. You remember that a couple of quarters ago. So much to discuss when it comes to names like Meta, Pinterest, Snap. Find out why one of our guests likes Pinterest more than Snap. Let's see which ones are the favorites and why. Doug Astrop's with us, managing partner, exponential investment partners, and Quint Tatro, managing director, Edge Rule Financial. Thank you both for being here. So what did you think of the meta numbers overall? Doug, I'll start with you. I mean, it seemed like they were pretty good, even if the stock is dropping. I, yeah, we thought they were great. I mean, uh, you know, uh, 150 plus percent earnings growth, 23 percent revenue growth. I mean, that's pretty impressive for a company that's been around as long as they have. And, uh, you know, they're still the dominant social media company with three billion monthly users. And uh, they're really the leader. I mean, great balance sheet, great margins, great growth. Um, really nothing to dislike here. I just think the market sentiment is so bad right now when it comes to tech and uh, NASDAQ's now in a correction. So I think it's just really market sentiment more than their actual numbers that caused the drop. And uh, we still think this is a great company to own and uh, we expect big things from them in the future. So we, we really didn't see anything to dislike at all in their, in their earnings. Yeah, and I have your call here on um, Alphabet as well. But Quint, what did you think about, uh, when you think about Meta, when you think about all the other names, what stood out to you? What are some of the takeaways of this week? Yeah, it's another lesson in uh, the painful, uh, you know, attributes of trying to chase strength. This stock was up 270% off of the lows. Uh, Meta or Google, which we'll talk about, was a 70% move. So it's not surprising at all uh, for me to see these stocks pull back. In fact, from a broader market perspective, uh, to see the small caps up today and some of the more interest rate sensitive stocks up today while the mega caps pull back is probably the best thing the bulls could have going for them into the end of the year. But the numbers were solid. The top and bottom line beats were there. The valuation is very attractive. They're on pace to basically earn $17 next year. You know, that's 16 times forward earnings. We're not talking about extravagant multiples yeah. here. But at the end of the day, they softballed their guidance. And anybody chasing a momentum play like this, you know, they have to get out whenever that transpires. So that's not surprising right. at all. The question is, where does this money go? after it leaves these hot names, and I really would like to see it go into other areas that have really been beaten up here. Yeah, understood. Doug, I know you said you would like to take advantage of a dip in Alphabet Google when you said, um, you look, you like Pinterest a little more than Snap. For Meta, you think it's it's a great one for a strong hold, so you know, no, not necessarily to, to jump in on a name like that, but you do like Alphabet Google, right? Tell us more about that. Yeah, we think Alphabet is really the stock to go with out of the group. It's got the most attractive valuation right now. And the size of the sell-off after their earnings yesterday, the, the sell-off during the day, they were down 9.5%, which is the fifth largest market cap single-day destruction for a U.S. company. And it's about the market cap of Nike that they shed. So this is just a, an extreme overreaction to, again, very strong numbers. And we think this is a great entry point. They're just giving you a great uh, buying opportunity here to, to add to the stock. And, uh, you know, they're synonymous with search. They have 90% of the online search market. So this is another great market leader that now you're getting a discount on. Yeah. Snap also reported uh, that one with some lackluster guidance. Quint, you noted that. You said you're a big Meta fan. Um, and Pinterest is one you're interested in. Tell me about that. Yeah, so this is interesting because Pinterest, you know, they got earnings coming up on Monday. Uh, 20 cents is the expectation. I think the whisper is 24 on 743 million. But Pinterest doesn't have any debt. Uh, they're trading at a 20 times valuation. Uh, forward forward multiple 
And uh, this is not one that's going to be, you know, contingent based on ads. This is basically based on retail sales, which in many areas have been very strong. I think uh, if Amazon is strong tonight and we see that the customer or the consumer is very strong uh, on the retail side, I, I think this sets up Pinterest for a, for a decent move come, uh, wow. you know, come on Monday. Yeah, I'm glad you mentioned Amazon. Um, Doug, I'll leave it with you. You know, final thoughts here. We, you know, we didn't talk about Microsoft or Apple. Um, any of the others that you love? Yeah, we like uh, Microsoft. Of course, that got a nice a little pop after earnings. But um, we just think Google's probably our top uh, name. It's got the right valuation. You're buying it on this uh, weakness after strong earnings. And we would stick with that one. And uh, let's see what Amazon does tonight. That could be an interesting uh, uh, influencer to how the market trades the rest of the week, for sure. Yeah, Doug Astrop and Quintetro, thank you both for being with us today and taking a look at those names. Really appreciate it.